going to carry on reading from Stories for Kids Who Dare to Be Different by Ben Brooks. If you want me to read anything else, um, please just email me or put it on Twitter and i um, happy to read anything that you want to hear. Okay, so today I am going to be reading about Biddy Mason. There she is. So Biddy Mason. Born 1818 and died 1891. So, Biddy Mason was an African American born into slavery. At a young age, she was torn away from her parents and sold repeatedly from slave owner to slave owner. Eventually, she ended up on the plantation of a man called Robert Smith, a Mormon living in Mississippi. When church leaders put out the call for their followers to relocate to the west of America, Robert Smith set about moving his entire family and everything he owned. Over a gruelling 2,000 mile trek, Biddy carried her youngest daughter on her back while she herded cattle, prepared meals and looked after animals. A few years later, Robert decided to move again, this time to California. While she was there, Biddy made friends with black people who weren't slaves and who explained that California was a free state. While they were standing within that state's limits, no person was the property of another person. That made Robert Smith nervous, and he tried to escape with his slaves to Texas. But Biddy's friends went to the sheriff's office and, part and a party rode out to stop Robert Smith before he could get away. On January the 9th, 1856, Biddy earned freedom for herself and her extended family of 13. She began to work as a nurse gaining a reputation for her encyclopedic knowledge of herbal remedies. When patients couldn't pay, she gave her service for free. When they could, she saved every penny. After ten years, Biddy bought two pieces of land and became the first black woman in Los Angeles to do so. Biddy accumulated more and more wealth, always using it to help those around her. She fed the poor, let orphans live in her house, visited jails, and opened a school for black children. If you hold your hand closed, Biddy said, nothing good can come in. The open hand is blessed, for it gives in abundance, each as it receives. Almost a hundred years after she died, November the 16th was declared Biddy Mason Day in Los Angeles. Okay, so that's all about Biddy Mason. Okay. Missing you. Hope you're keeping well and doing lots of fantastic learning. Thank you so much for all the work that you are doing and sharing on Purple Mash and your mathematics. It's brilliant. It's brilliant that you're still keeping going, um, keeping to a routine. Just pretend you're at school. That's what we do here. Okay. Look at yourselves. <laughs>